Former CIA agent and pilot John Lear says we control alien technology and there are colonies on Mars. John Lear, former CIA pilot, revealed amazing things as they, that they have secretly gone to the moon since 1962, that they have been on Mars and that NASA uses alien technology. John Lear, 1942 to 2022, was a U.S. Air Force captain, also a CIA pilot. He was the son of the inventor of the jet, the uh, Learjet, a type of an engine, and flew more than 150 test planes. He also got 18 world speed records. As a good pilot, he worked for 28 different aviation companies. He earned the most distinctions awarded by the Federal Aviation Administration, the FAA, airplane transport rating, flight instructor, ground instructor, flight navigator, engineer, aircraft dispatcher, airframe power plant mechanic, parachute rigger, and tower operator. During the 1980s and 1990s, he began to speak out, revealing confidential information. These are some of the, uh, inform the details that he provided in an interview that he gave on radio program Coast to Coast. In 1953, an alien ship crashed and they captured the ET named EB-3 and also confirmed by Dan Burrish who used the US government air forces to build spaceships with extraterrestrial technology. In 1962 they had vehicles that could not go faster than the speed of light like the ET vehicles but fast enough to reach the moon in an hour. They could make regular trips to Mars he said we were making regular trips to Mars in 1966. Mercury, Apollo, and the rest of the missions were nothing more than decoys to distract the population's attention from what we were rapidly doing. They were building various buildings on the moon, he claims. Now in 1966 they landed on Mars and since then they have already explored most of the planets in our solar system They've also found that there is life very similar to ours in some of them. 1970s, before NASA began erasing without a trace the photos taken by Apollo 8, 10, and 11 and published in 1971. In the NASA book SB246, and you can see a copy of City, a space base, tubes, roads, vegetation, air, an atmosphere, gravity 66% relative to Earth, there is light, mining operations, a nuclear reactor. In order to do this, extraterrestrial collaboration has been necessary and many buildings on the moon were already there before operations began on it, he said, and this has been done for the last 40 years. John's father had been involved in anti-gravity technology programs in the mid-1950s, completely secret technology today. And according to John Lear, source within the U.S. government, he could say three things. We have been going to the moon since 1962. The population of Mars is around 600 million, and they are exactly like us. He had worked with a part of the mining equipment that was to go to the moon and said, John, we built this in Alabama. It was so big that when we finished the project, I took a small plane and flew over the piece of equipment to get an idea of how big it was. The most important thing is that there are many authors of great weight, military or experts in espionage, space aeronautics, who confirm many of these incredible statements such as Colonel Phil Corso, David Wilcock, Glenn Steckling, Henry Deacon and Gilbert Levine. And this is on Myth and Mystery. Please leave your comments and thank you for your support. I support my Patreon account. The daily posts are five videos daily and they are totally different from what I have on my YouTube channel. Thank you so much for your support and that you find all my content so interesting. You'll find the Patreon account details in the description box below.